When I asked myself what makes a video look professional, I always thought it would be about buying an expensive camera. Because as you know, you have this bokeh effect, right? The person in the front is crisp sharp and the background is blurred and that looks really professional. Obviously you can only make that with an expensive camera and a good lens because with a smartphone camera for example, you don't have that kind of lens that gives you a blur effect like this. But if your smartphone is all you have, I bet you ask yourself how can I make my video look more professional given this circumstance and I have three steps for you that really make a big difference. Step number one is buying good lights because this already makes a big difference for the picture that you get from your smartphone. For example, obviously what you see right now is with my lights turned on and this is how it looks when my lights are turned off. So definitely get yourself some good lights. On Amazon you can already get them below 100 US dollars. So it's not too expensive and already makes a big difference without having to buy an expensive camera. Step number two, if you film outside, then get yourself a gimbal. It looks like this and can hold your smartphone in place so you don't have the shaking anymore. For example, recently I was on a flight with a very small airplane, a little Cessna. And as you can see here, the plane is shaking like crazy, but the outside is super steady. Amazing, right? And such a gimbal is actually not too expensive. A little over a hundred dollars buys you, for example, this Sion Smooth Q. So it's a cheap investment and already makes a big difference for your footage. And now we get to step three, which is really impactful because all professional films do it all the time, which is color grading. You never knew before, I thought the good quality images, the bright colors and all that is coming from those expensive cameras. But actually the real reason for having such a nice image is the color grading. For example, I recently did some filming on the beach and here you can see the original footage versus the color graded one. Do you see the difference? The changes that I did are very subtle because I wanted to keep this natural look of the image. In the color graded version, the greens of the palms are much brighter and also the sky is bluer. And now you are in for a real treat because I want to show you how I did this color grading. And although I'm not an expert on color grading, at the end of this tutorial, your mind will really be blown. I'm in DaVinci Resolve 16 here, which is a very fine video editor and includes color grading, actually world leading color grading. And by the way, it's even free to use and no catch. What we see here is the color graded footage, but let me reset that and we do it from scratch again. All right. Again, I want to improve the greens of the palms and the blues of the sky. What we could just do for that is increase the color saturation. Let's try that. But you see easily here, right? That with that, we increase everything and that makes my skin look unnatural. So increasing color saturation is not the way to go. Let's quickly reset that. What we can do instead is to just increase the greens and the blues. So let's try that. For example, for the greens, we go to the green channel here and we have this curve and we can just get it up like so, but it also changes everything else, right? The sand doesn't even look natural anymore. So let me reset that and show you how it is really done. What we want to do is to increase the greens of the palms, but nowhere else. The sand should stay in its original color. What good color grading allows you to do is just pick the green colors and manipulate them individually. So what we do here is to just select those green colors of the palms. So I select the colors here by just moving over it. And as you can see here at the bottom, a color range is already selected. These are the colors that I just touched in the image itself. So what we basically do here is creating a mask of the palms that you can now see here in the preview where the palms are highlighted. So now we can manipulate the colors of only the palms. With that ability, I just go back to the curves and we have still the green channel selected here and I pull it up. And can you see, I have it a little bit drastically set. The palms are now extra green. 
Of course, in my original video, I didn't go that far. But to prove a point, now the palms are very green, the sand is in its original color. But by the way, there is one issue. The shirt suddenly has a very high green as well. You can see it a little bit better in a different frame. Here, for example, the jaw of the dinosaur is very green and I want my shirt to look as natural as possible again. So what we can do here is to apply an extra mask here. Very simple. We just do a square where we select the area where the palms are. So it's simple as that. Now DaVinci Resolve can apply this kind of color grading to all the frames in the scene. And luckily, because I'm walking on the beach with using my iPhone 6S plus the gimbal, there's no shaking and the palms always stay in the top half of the image and my shirt is in the bottom half. So we are done with the color gradings of the palms. Similarly, I would do it for the sky as well. And by the way, you probably wonder what we would do in case that the scene is changing a lot during the take. I have, for example, this one scene where I show the ocean and I made the water more blue. Let me quickly turn it off here. This is how it originally looks quite dull, right? And now with the color grading, we have a more rich blue ocean. However, I couldn't do the same color grading here at the bottom where basically the beach is already starting. Just to give you an idea, let me apply the color grading here as well. Look at that. It now starts to look unnatural here. So what I did is since in this scene, the water is coming towards us, I animated this mask, the mask that makes the water very blue, but not the part here at the bottom. But since it's coming towards us, I animated this mask as well to move with the water. And this way, the color grading is working as we would like. All right, there you have it. It's really interesting to see how easily you can color grade those images and it still looks natural, right? Probably other people will only think that you have an expensive camera while it was just your smartphone. So if you're interested to check out DaVinci Resolve yourself and color grade your footage, then check out this tutorial. And by the way, if you're interested in learning how to grow your YouTube channel, then also check out this latest video on this channel. Cheers, my friends.